It is an unsettling sight, an astonishing scene in a place that knows the perils of war. U.S. troops with guns and gear on the ground in eastern Poland. 3,000 troops will make camp here in a community called Yashonka, although the soldiers have given it a new name. It's J-Town now, with the local arena serving as their barracks. This deployment is symbolic. It's a signal of strength as the Russian military threatens Ukraine. But it's difficult to know what Vladimir Putin will do as NATO builds up its forces. This sleepy regional airport has begun to resemble a sophisticated military encampment, and that constitutes a clear rejection of one of Moscow's key demands, that NATO pull its forces out of Eastern Europe. And it could exacerbate tensions with the Russians even further. For the Poles, this is proof of a new age of conflict, a contest that will require Europe to rearm. But there is gratitude here for NATO's support. Actually, I think it's the first time in history that Anglo-Saxon troops have come to Poland potentially to defend us against a foreign aggressor. So big day. It's a clear signal to Mr. Putin and his generals that uh, this is where NATO territory starts and it will be defended. And on a quick visit to the capital, the US Defense Secretary restated his support, announcing the sale of tanks and planes to the Poles. You know, it's ironic that what Mr. Putin did not want to see happen was a stronger NATO on his flank. And that's exactly what he will see going forward. Two million Ukrainians have made Poland their home, working or studying at universities. But these students in Jezuf are finding it difficult to concentrate. I have family there. Uh, I also have a father in the military. I, I am trying to filter the information. So I'm trying not to panic like as mo most people do. And there is a question every Ukrainian in Poland asks. What do they do if Russia invades? Uh, personally, I would uh, take my mom from Ukraine. Uh, I, I know that there are, are actually movements that say that they want to stay, to stay in Ukraine whenever would, whatever would happen, but I will take my mom for sure to Poland. But this was upsetting for Yarina. She feels they have a duty to return. Is it, uh... Very bad. <laughs> I, oh, okay. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't plan that. To be honest, like my first thought when I realized that something like this can be happen is what it was like, I will go back home. Like, uh, I don't know why, like people are escaping. I want to go back. I don't know uh, why. Like, I know why, because I love my, I love my uh, country, uh, but. The invasion of Ukraine seems unthinkable to some, but the Poles have begun to prepare. Refugees will be welcomed and the military stands ready to defend. John Sparks, Sky News in Jezuf.